Welcome back to the Willie Street Co-op. You're watching Cooking the Casbah. My name is Sabi, and today, sustainable agriculture. One of the things that are considered sustainable agriculture around the world is the bamboo shoot. And this is what I'm using in today's recipe. It is a grass, and it grows fast, <coughs> and it is a substantial product to replace many things like um, asparagus, let's say, in places where you can grow asparagus. Uh, this is an easy, fast recipe. I have a pan here, uh, a little bit of olive oil, a hint of oil, just a hint. And I want to heat up my onions just a little bit, so that was a couple of onions. Uh, red hot peppers, just in case. I leave them whole so you can fish them out if you don't want anybody's to. Uh... So I'm going to just add some of that in there. Uh, a little bit of black eyed peas, and these are soaked and partially cooked. They can be simply soaked. This is what black IP looks like. They expand overnight. They look like that. <coughs> it becomes more of a brown eyed pea. <laughs> I have a little bit of turmeric, cumin, fresh ground, coriander, fresh ground, white pepper, fresh ground, and a couple of cloves of garlic sliced and some ginger slice. So I'm doing here what we call uh, Mediterranean meat meets Far East. Try to say that 10 times. And I'm simply tossing everything together here and stir it real quick. I'll pay attention to the moisture level here. I may need to add a little bit of oil and a little bit of yogurt. Notice I'm not, not gonna add the entire batch of yogurt yet. As this heats up, we'll talk about the shoot, the bamboo shoot itself. You can obtain it like this. Most people have seen it in this form. I prefer it in this form. It's about three and a half, four dollars a pound. Uh, but what you get to see is this here. This is the actual shoot. And these are the leaves that you want to discard until they start getting whiter as you go closer to the core. But notice how the stem looks like that. Each one of these segments becomes as long as a bamboo shoot or an actual bamboo tree. This part here, that I, when I just took off, is edible. Anything below the dark fur is edible. And you simply slice it. And you slice the stem in the same way. You can peel it if you need to, take that brown part off. But eventually, it should look just like this. And this is what I add to my dish as soon as everything starts softening up a little bit. A hint of salt. And this is the canned bamboo. We'll use some of that also. Tomatoes. And more of the yogurt. Some people use a little bit of chicken broth in there. Some don't, and this makes a nice side dish for a seafood plate, a chicken plate, a uh, cow plate, a sheep plate, you name it. If you're watching Cooking the Cows, but do you like that? Do you like the, the cow plate? <laughs> yeah. And that's bamboo black eyed peas side dish on Cooking the Casbah. We're going to take a little break. When we come back, Kirby Nelson from Capital Brewery will talk about Island Wheat. Welcome back. You're watching Cooking the Casbah. Why am I hanging out with this shady bunch? Leah Kaplan from Washington Hotel and uh, Restaurant and School, Culinary School. Uh, Kirby Nelson from Capital Brewery and uh, Brian Ellison from Vanderwalt and Associates. You told me something about you running out of things to do with the wheat on Washington Island. Yes. It was grown just for your purposes. It was grown for our purposes, which were initially bread. We made bread, pasta, salads, sandwiches, gnocchi, pancakes, everything you can possibly think of to do with wheat. We have done and continue to do, but we still had more wheat. So we contacted Brian Ellison and Dan Wall and Associates <laughs> and uh, asked him to think of things that somebody else could do with wheat. So that brings you, this is a daunting task. How did this happen? And what is sustainable agriculture real quickly? Sustainable agriculture real quickly is, a, is a, <laughs> not a real quick answer, but uh, 
um, in, in this case, we're looking at um, the purpose of the hotel, and we were brought in to help them um, achieve their purpose and, and continue with their mission, but at the same time help them get economic returns um, for the products and, and the wheat that the farmers were growing and, and that the hotel was using. So and who were you able to push the wheat on? So um, <laughs> we were trying, we had a lot of different ideas as to who we could push the wheat on, and, and we looked at a lot of different angles, and uh, the one that uh, came back the strongest was that Wisconsin has a strong tradition in um, beer brewing. Uh, wheat uh, mm -hmm. tends to be a, a traditional ingredient in beer, and so uh, we started uh, looking towards brewers, and Kirby right. Nelson was the one that rose to the top. Great. Well, originally, that, I thought be the they first were using um, sustainable as an excuse to come out and hit me up for a few beers to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> and that they did. And this is Kirby Nelson from Capital Brewery. I tried his beer, and we loved it. We had a show about the product. Tell me, how did you find out about this, and how long did it take you before it was his idea to you to bottle? It is actually... Briefly. This whole project, yeah, good luck, has been the most serendipitous <laughs> um, thing I've ever been involved with. We were actually um, working on a milder beer, and in the course of working on this one, which is a cream ale, we started talking about different beers, and hey, how about an American-style wheat ale? And we made one, and I just literally called it Wisco Wheat. Wisco. And it would be great if we could have a source of wheat from Wisconsin. In comes Brian, who well, after talking with Leah says, we've got mounds of wheat, what are we gonna do with it? Dang. Serendipity. That went from an idea to project in what? About five weeks? Mm -hmm. And we had a big party on the island called Harvest Fest. Mark your calendar, September 17th this year, Island Harvest Fest. We celebrate the harvest of the wheat for the, that we're going to use to make bread and beer with on the island. And it's becoming quite the party. And, and you're watching Cooking the Casbah, who brought you the island wheat and how it was made. That's right. Fantastic. And anyways, we literally went from, you know, idea to liquid to a taste of Madison to project to bottle in about nine months. That's record time for people in the beer industry. You're watching Cook in the Casbah. My name is Sabi. This is Leah Kaplan from the Washington Hotel uh, School and Restaurant, Culinary School and Restaurant, and Kirby Nelson from Capital Brewery, and Brian Ellison from Vanderwalt and Associates. And I am Chef Sabi. We're here at the at the uh, Williamson Street Co-op. Thanks to uh, Brendan at Williamson Street Co-op for letting us use the supplies. And thank you for watching Cook in the Casbah.